man. I cannot get over how good this is. This is wow. This whew, whew. Hey, feeling good. Like I should. When in the blue walk around the neighborhood. Feeling blue. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. Today we're gonna to be making hot chocolate, but it's not gonna be just be any regular hot chocolate. Today we'll be making Mexican hot chocolate, which also happens to be the best hot chocolate. Today, with me as a special guest, it, it, it ah, me. Ren. <laughs> uh, you guys might have, might recognize her from yesterday's vlog. Uh, she's gonna help me make hot cocoa today. Lauren's mom had it in her. What is that? A pantry? Yes. Closet we're thing. We're just gonna go with yes. Sure. Yeah, it's in there, and I was like, you know what? I want to use it. So today we're gonna we're gonna taste test the Mexican hot chocolate up against just regular boring old hot cocoa mix. So for this recipe, you need one thing of hot cocoa and uh, whole milk. Microwavable hot cocoa. So step one is to heat up six ounces of whole milk. And then step two, you're gonna put it in the microwave and leave it in there until it gets warm. Uh, we're doing two at the same time. Uh, depending on how many people you have with you, you can do whatever you want. And then final step, you just mix in the hot cocoa mix. Uh, we have one packet and we're gonna share it to mix ourselves. Uh, but I don't know, you do you, I'm not your mom. Cheers. Yeah, I mean, mine tastes, tastes, it just tastes like regular old hot chocolate. I've never had anything other than instant mix, so. I mean, it'll do in a jiffy. Yeah, it'll do. Uh, if, you have, if you're short on time, I would probably recommend doing this. But if you have plenty of time on your hands, I would recommend mixing hot chocolate. Here are the ingredients for this. And the ingredients will include salt, brown sugar. Oh, it's cheap. Oh. Okay, cool. Uh, three packets of dark chocolate, 60% cacao. Uh, chili of your choice, it can be whatever you want. And cinnamon sticks. And it's also vanilla, but I'm not throwing glass. Okay, so the original recipe calls for uh, vanilla bean, but that was $15, whereas vanilla extract was like $3, so we're just gonna use vanilla extract instead. But if you have the extra money to spend, do vanilla bean. So first step is to get a medium saucepan, and you're gonna lay it down like this, and you're gonna get 1.5 cups of whole milk, and you're gonna heat that up. I would that. All right, yeah. So then you're just gonna put that on the stove on low heat. You don't, you do not want your milk to be bubbling. Low heat, just to have it heat up. Facts. So next step, go ahead and grab your chocolate, peel them off, uh, peel them off, and then just go ahead and start chopping them up really finely. You don't want to make it like super, super like dusty. You just want to have them in small pieces so they're easier to melt. We're working with really fancy chocolate today. Once you have all your chocolate chopped up, now you're gonna go ahead and just put this into the milk mixture so we can let it melt and actually kind of combine and condense with the actual milk. Also, this is not gonna work unless you sufficiently make a mess. Mm -hmm. It's only gonna taste good if you're messy. Yeah, it's only gonna, yeah, the messier it is, the better. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get one cinnamon stick and you're gonna liter you're literally just gonna roast it on one side. So you're just gonna lay this down in the pan, let it roast for a little bit until it's blackened. Um, for a reason unknown. I think it, what, like it just adds a little, a little flair to it, I depth. guess. Depth. Yeah. Depth. We're looking for depth. And after you put the chocolate in, go ahead and drop in your chili pepper. Just thought we can start soaking up all of that flavor. All right, so then once all of this is, once all of this is starting to get really melted and stuff like that, then you're gonna add one and a half teaspoons of brown sugar into it. Um, and then right now Lauren is working on the vanilla extract. So now I'm adding in the vanilla extract. And that was one and a half teaspoons. All right, so we didn't film this last part, but I'm not gonna add any more salt to the mixture. But the last thing you need is just a little pinch of salt. Just get it and just put it in there, baby. So next up, we're gonna take out our chili and our cinnamon stick. So now we're just gonna go ahead and pour into each cup a hefty serving of the hot cocoa. Okay, 
Okay, so now you have your two cups of hot chocolate, and what do you want to do? You want to garnish it with Ready Whip Sweet Foam? You don't have to use this one, but uh, Lauren gave me a little taste test, and ooh, it's really, really good. Very good. All right, guys, and then to make it a little bit more extra, we're gonna use a grater, we're gonna use a piece of chocolate, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna put a little bit more chocolate on top, because who doesn't like chocolate? Now the only thing left to do is to actually enjoy. Oh, that is... Miles better. That's magnificent. Oh, that is so good. Oh, come on. That is so, so good. Yeah, there's so much more chocolate. Mm -hmm. Like it's really deep in flavor with the chocolate. Yeah. Oh, and then the sweet, and then the sweet phone on top. Well, all right, guys, so that's how you make Mexican hot chocolate the right way. Uh, go ahead and send me pictures and videos of you guys actually making this. I'm actually really interested to see if you guys like it as well. But this has been Vlogmas Day 18. Uh, we will see you guys tomorrow in a different setting, doing a different thing. Bye, fam. Bye, fam.